Welcome to fucking tech. Today, in this video, we're going to take our Casio Rangeman. Uh, what's it called? The G G ninety four GW ninety four hundred module thirty four ten. We're going to take this old raggedy thing, and we're going to transform it into wow, like a like a wow. It's going to make uh, we're we're going to make it white. That's right. Here's 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 the tease. I'm gonna put that on there. <laughs> so we got a white case. We got white uh, strap adapters, and we got a white NATO strap. Uh huh. All white team. Now, obviously. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here, but oh, even though there's a lot of stuff going on with the parts, this is the easiest and probably the fastest one to do. Um, so, Range Man, this is a cool watch because you got barometer graph there. You got your sensors for a barometer with the temperature, and you have altimeter, compass. All right, and then you have you got your time, world time, stopwatch, timer, alarm. You got five alarms, I think. Uh, what's this? Oh, the sunrise and sunsets and stuff you can save. And this is the radio signal you can receive to synchronize the time. Now, let's get into this. Let's transform this thing into something else. And this, like, it's uh, this is a this is something I got at the pawn shop for 120 bucks. <laughs> so, top shape, well, except for the case and band here, which we're gonna remove. Now, there's no push bars or yeah, no push bars in this. It's all screws. And it makes it a lot easier. A lot easier. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. It makes us easier and simpler. So we got... We just pop it off. And that's it. it. Slides in. And it slides out. So we're done with this. Never to be seen again. right one last screw to go all right so pop off all right now we still have the case to take off now you would think that you could you need to unscrew these to take off the case but it's not the case haha <laughs> get it these screws are decorative so what we do we're going to uh, over the buttons here one side you got the sensor button and one side you get the sensor so let's go on the sensor side uh, the sensor button side start peeling this off push it out to the side there we go oh come on okay so we're gonna push this out very good now there's a little cover that goes inside the sensor port, sensor spot. This needs to come out, and we need to put it into the new case. So now we got the new case. We got the sensor spot. We're gonna put this in there. All right. It seems okay there. Now we got the core of the watch. Now this, this is the core and now we can apply all kinds of cases and whatnot to it. So this is already clean because I have been wearing this and using this. So let's give it a last wipe there. All right, so we got the case. So let's put on the case with the sensor side down. 
Uh, actually, yeah, I should have done the, the the other way around. Should have done the taking off the sensor first. So we got the buttons, putting in the buttons first, and then the sensor. Put the plastic in there. Then we can put in the sensor side. There we go. Very, very easy. Ma. <laughs> That's looking good. That's looking very nice. Now, strap adapters. Now these are from uh, J's and K's on eBay. They have all kinds of uh, modification parts that go that for for G-Shock. So this because we're gonna have a NATO strap. So we need something that'll through which we can put the the strap. And, and and like this watch is so easy to take apart and put new parts in screw in screw in here there we go one side done now we have the bottom part just like that and whoop Oh, that went to the floor. That's not very good. Hmm. It's not squaring in completely. That's good. Oh my god. I need to find the screw on the floor now. Okay, found it. Doesn't look like it necessarily, but this watch is a big watch. It's it's big. It's a, it's it's chonky. All right, let's get this last screw in there. doesn't seem to stop like it doesn't it screws all the time like it doesn't stop screwing okay this okay okay so this hmm okay so now we got strap adapters very nice now we're gonna bring in the needle strap and before that we're gonna bring in an add-on. Whoa! So we got a metal metal compass. We're gonna to add to the strap. So we're gonna put this in at the end of the strap, like this. Like this. And then Drop this in, super easy. And then, the bottom of the needle strap under, goes under. All right, there we go. So now we have the completed G-Shock arrangement with the white case. And uh, these are brand new screws. I had to order these separate, brand new screws <laughs> for the case. So the case is like uh, 16 Canadian on eBay, uh, 45 US. The white NATO strap is uh, 21 Canadian or 16 US. Strap adapters on J's from J's and K's on eBay, 14 Canadian or 10 US. Then the case screws, which is 20. <laughs> 27 Canadian or uh, 20 US, which is ridiculous. Just just for these little screws or else, because when you buy the case, there's holes. There's no screws in the holes. And uh, oh, we got one more part here. 
I'm going to put this on top. Now this is the metal bull guard. There we go. So we got some uh, protection. <laughs> so that's the completed, fully complete. The, the bull guard is uh, 22 Canadian or $16 US. Now the complete watch with all the parts, with the compass, the case, the screws, the bull guard, and the adapters and the NATO strap is uh, around 271 Canadian or 203 US, which is still a bargain compared to buying a new one. And uh, now you have something that looks like a, there's an Arctic version and it was sold to um, as a promotion and, and to help save the polar bears, which apparently they don't need saving anymore. So uh, that's good. And the, the white version, the polar version of this, I think it had a blue dial, however, was like 800 bucks. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna pay 800 bucks for, uh, you know, a range man. So this is my original configuration. Now I've worn this a little bit and I, my, my white strap, I, I can't, I'm, I can't clean this. So what I'm gonna do, was that we're going to change straps so i'm going to take this out gonna take the compass out bye bye white strap and we're going to put something in that's also very nice dual tone black and dark gray nato strap this one i think was like 32 bucks or something very sturdy we'll see uh how it goes now i bought this separate compass for I think seven bucks or six bucks US because it's metal and it goes with the metal tones of the watch and it's big it's uh, 22 millimeter wide or there we go so it fits on the strap now we're gonna put this on the strap I mean this this watch and with these adapters it's so easy so easy to take apart and put new parts in and change your straps very very cool all right so we got this done put this on the bottom the uh, bottom strap strapped in here we go very nice so yeah so the compass is really leaning into the watch there so, uh, this is my ostentatious watch. This is the watch I wear when I go to parties. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not like a luxury watch, but I mean, it, it's, it's huge, it's chunky, and it's, it pops. It says, look at me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And it's a nice, uh. It's a nice party piece for people who are nostalgic about old watches. And instead of having these stupid Apple watches and all kinds of smart watches where the battery dies. So why another compass? Why not? Because you can have the magnetic compass. You have the compass in the watch, but you can have an offset in the watch. So you can have, you can have two different compasses so that's uh, so that's fun so this is my big range man watch with a nicer strap now so we have two straps two different straps so uh, there you go that's all you need to do uh, very easy finding parts you can uh, make yourself some nice looking watches with some old Casio G-Shocks and the range man if you get some something used like this fantastic it's a nice bull guard I mean the, the, the black and white contrast is nice with the middle parts the gray the gray the silver yeah the gray silver the metal silver I mean come on this is pretty damn good so that's that
fucking tech.com.